Hello everyone. I am uh, Dr. L. Srinivas Murthy from Life Care Hospital and uh, Research Centre, Bangalore. Today, I am going to say a few words and try to enlighten you people regarding diabetes. As you know, diabetes is one of the largest epidemics in the world and the ICMR data in 2011 predicted that by 2030, we will be about 80 million diabetics in India. But for our surprise, by 2011 itself, we surpassed 60 million in incidence of diabetes in India. So this is a very, very alarming situation. So let us see what is diabetes per se itself. Diabetes is basically an endocrine disease where pancreas fail to secrete adequate amount of insulin. Insulin is basically a transport vehicle for glucose. As we know, insulin secretion is proportional to your food intake. That means whenever we eat food, the proportionately insulin secretion happens by the pancreas and the insulin gets transported across to various organs. Remember, insulin is like a fuel, I mean, glucose is like a fuel and insulin is like a transport vehicle or a key to enter into a room. So this is the basic problem in diabetes. What happens? The insulin production gets affected by the pancreas and the reason so far has not been detected why the deficiency of insulin happens in a given individual. Of course, there are a lot of risk factors why a person can develop. We will discuss in due course. And basically, there are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetics, mostly 90 or 99 percent of insulin is not produced by the body and they will become insulin dependent diabetics, mostly seen in children. But of course, few numbers are seen in adults or young adolescents we call. Luckily, type 1 is not the major problem because the incidence is very less. But 95 percent of diabetes which exists in between us is type 2 diabetes. Here, type 2 diabetes, the insulin production is affected moderately, say 50 percent by the time somebody shows off the symptoms. That means a person who is eating normal food secretes a normal insulin amount proportionate to that food intake, whereas in type 2 diabetes, that insulin secretion response is blunted. That means the day somebody becomes a diabetic, their internal insulin production comes down by at least 50 percent. Hence, when we eat food, like in normal portions, it will not be transported because of the deficiency of the transport vehicle, which is nothing but insulin. That is the basic model we use in describing the diet for diabetics. That means we always say small frequent feeds because of this inadequate insulin production in the body. So try to match the lesser or a blunted insulin response by splitting your meals into five portions, small portions rather than three large meals which all of us try to consume. 